Welcome to People Want to Know. I'm JP Dominguez. This is a segment where we take your social questions and we answer them. I'm super excited because this is the final video of our video series that we've been doing with the Naleo Educational Fund going over voting, elections, how to get involved. This week is going to be important, right, Melissa? Because this week we're going over deadlines and who better to answer those questions than Angelica Peña from the Naleo Educational Fund? I can't think of anyone better. <laughs> Thanks, so let's go right into that first question about important deadlines. Yes, people want to know what's the latest that they can apply for citizenship so that they can vote in the upcoming election. That is an awesome question. So nationally, the average is between five to eight months from the moment you start applying and you submit your application to when you do your swearing-in ceremony. So if you're looking at November 2016, the latest you want to start your application or submit your application is March 2016. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you're eligible and you're ready to do it now, why wait? Do it today, right? right. Um, so that you can get uh, registered in time and, and be able to cast a ballot on, on election day next year. Great. So make sure to go, go register or apply to become a citizen. citizen yeah. On that note, why I got a little tripped up is people need to register to vote. And a lot of people get discouraged. What is the last day possible for people to register to vote? So they may get discouraged because they may get a little confused, right? Maybe I missed the deadline. Mm -hmm. So every state is different. So you're going to want to check out your Secretary of State's website to figure out when the final day is. Some states range 15 days before election, 30 days. In California, for example, October 24th is the last day to register to vote for the November 8th, 2016 election. But there's some states that have same-day voter registration. So you're going to want to either go on the Secretary of State's website or you can call Naleo, 888-VEI-VOTA. Find out when the deadline is for your state. Make sure you're registered, and while you're at it, you might as well find out where your polling place is, right? So you can start mapping it out now. Definitely. Absolutely. And what is the last day that somebody can vote by mail? So that's a good question. And again, that also varies by state. Some states allow vote by mail, some don't. Some have stricter r rules on voting mm. by mail. So again, you want to contact your county official or your secretary of state's office and figure out what those rules are because you want to make sure that if it requires that it's postmarked by a certain day that you have it postmarked, some um, election offices require that it's received by election day. So again, you want to look into it. That's one of the conveniences, right, of not having to go on, on a Tuesday to vote right. is having the option of voting by mail. Great. So awesome information. I don't think there's a reason why we should miss that deadline because yeah. I think what I got most from this whole segment is what's that toll-free number that we can it's call? It's 888-VEI-VOTA. Go awesome. 888-VEI-VOTA. Awesome. And what are the hours of operation? So we are from 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time mm -hmm. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast watching us, you can call us at 8 in the morning and there'll be an operator there, Inglés y Español, answering Boom. questions about voting and about citizenship while you're at it. No hay excusa. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angelica, for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. I think we're all better informed after yes. this. There's even things that we all didn't know before we came into here. I didn't know some other stuff. And it's been an absolute Are you guys pleasure. Registered? Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm registered. And, I'm what ready. about, and you guys haven't needed to re-register? Because I know no. we were talking about uh, that. But can you tell them when they need to re-register? Yeah, so if you have yeah. moved, so especially for you young folks out there going to college, moving out of your parents' house, if you moved, you need to re-register to vote. If you've changed your name, you need to re-register to vote. And also, if you want to change your party affiliation, you need to re-register to vote. So that's especially true for primary elections if, that, if those are happening in your state. Great information. Thanks yeah. again for being here. It's been an absolute Thanks pleasure. For me, guys. Melissa, this has been awesome. Informing the community is what we like to do here on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing these videos. Make sure to continue to share them. Create that conversation. Encourage your friends and family to get out there, register to vote, participate in the election. It's been an awesome video series. And we'll see you next time. On people want to know. Hola amigos, no se vayan todavía porque necesitamos ayuda. ¿Su ayuda en qué hijo? Necesitamos más de 100 mil personas. ¿Para qué? Para que se suscriban a este su canal de YouTube, Jessica Domínguez TV. ¿Pero por qué quiere hacer esto? Porque de esa manera se van a mantener informados acerca de las leyes de migración, van a tener análisis político y Noticias mucha más información. de migración. Uh -huh. Sí, pues vamos. Muchas gracias. Nos vemos. Gracias.